Welcome to Deconstructing Chatbots. I am Priyanka Vargadia and in this episode we will learn how to create an app engine front end for our dialogue flow agent. <laughs> So far in this series, we've been focusing on learning the basics of conversational AI and building an agent. Once the agent is built, you may want to integrate it with the front end of your choice to give it a look and feel of your own website. Well, today we will learn to create a custom front end for our Dialogflow chat application on App Engine using the Django framework. You can use any front end framework or language you like. Django is just an example we are working with here. But before we begin, here's what we are building. There'll be a text input and a submit button to send chat messages. All the messages back and forth will be visible on the chat window. All right, so let's see how this will work. The chat app will be served on App Engine. We will build our app in Python using Django, which is a Python-based free and open source web framework. App Engine will interact with Cloud SQL for any database requests. And it will interact with our Dialogflow agent via the Dialogflow API. In this example, we will be using the Appointment Scheduler agent that we created in the third episode. And we enhanced it in the eighth episode to integrate with Google Calendar. Now with that background, let's dive in and see how to make this work. Check out the link in the description below to download the source code for Django app we will be deploying on App Engine. Let's start by creating the Cloud SQL instance in GCP console. Once created, take note of the connection name. Also create the database with username and password. If you don't already have the Cloud SQL proxy, then download and install it. You'll find the link in the description below. Start the Cloud SQL proxy with the connection name we copied while creating the Cloud SQL instance. This establishes a connection from your local computer to your Cloud SQL instance for local testing purposes. Keep the Cloud SQL proxy running the entire time you test your app locally. While we are in GCP console, let's download the service account key as well. From the hamburger menu, navigate to the API and services. Click on Create Credentials button drop down. Then select the service account key. Name the key and make sure JSON is selected. Then click Create. The JSON file will then download on your computer. Open settings.py in My Site folder. In two places, replace your username and your password with the database username and password you just created. This helps set up the connection to the database for both App Engine deployments and local testing. Also replace Cloud SQL your connection name corresponding to the host. Replace your database with the name of the Cloud SQL database you created. When done, close and save settings.py. Now let's set up the Dialogflow Detect Intent endpoint to be called from the application. For that, navigate to views.py file in the chat folder and change the Google project ID to your GCP project ID. Appointment scheduler.json file is used to authenticate and authorize the app to make calls to the Dialogflow API. You replace that file with your own JSON credentials that we generated earlier. To run the Django app on your local computer, we will need to set up a Python development environment. CD into the project directory, run the command virtual env env-p python3 to create the virtual environment. Now execute source env slash bin slash activate to activate the virtual environment we just created. You will see ENV in the terminal, which indicates that you are in the virtual environment. Now execute pip install r requirements.txt. This will install the requirements for Django, Dialogflow, and PyMySQL. Then run the three migration commands to set up the models. Python3 manage.py make migrations, make migration polls, 
and migrate. At this point, we are ready to start the local web server. For that, execute python3 manage.py run server. Once the server is running, navigate to localhost colon 8000 slash chat. And there, we have our app running locally. Now we are ready to deploy our app to App Engine. For that, we need to gather all our static files in one folder using the command python3 manage.py collect static. Then run gcloud app deploy to deploy the application on App Engine. This may take a few minutes, but once done, you will see the link to the deployed application in your terminal. Navigate to the app and verify that everything's working fine. Today we learned how to create and deploy a Dialogflow frontend on App Engine using the Django framework. I'm excited to hear which frontends you are integrating Dialogflow with. Tell us all about your use case in the comments below. I hope to see you in the next episode of Deconstructing Chatbots. If you like this video and would like to see more such content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.